Hello and welcome to the ninth issue of the FractalForums.com news. With a total amount of 190 submissions, the annual Fractal Art submission period is over. The voting period is now taking place until end of June. Please take your time and vote on as many entries as possible. In the film section, only entries with 5 minute length minimum were accepted. In consequence, many artists told stories in their films. The downside, only 15 submissions. Idol by Bernard Bittler is a co-production with his son, who made the music. He beautifully combined his hand-overdrawn poser model puppets with animated 3D fractals, creating a melancholy alien space atmosphere. This colorful film was made by a very big production team and is very trippy. Probably because its title is Where in the Universe is Timothy Leary? My guess, check the bar. Ron Wu entered his film Fractal Zoo last minute. It's filled to the limit with highly dynamic and fluid objects and nice camera paths. Power goes off, there's nothing I like more than reading a good book. The Adventures of Robot Boy and Crab Dog. This should be good. Books Are Stupid is a story of a robot boy and a crab dog told in five chapters. But it leaves us with a cliffhanger. The first cliffhanger in the history of fractal movies. I hope we do not have to wait a full year for chapter six. This looks like a control panel. I wonder what happens if I... Wow! If the film section continues like this, there has to be a fractal category at the Oscar nominations. The still frame section had 130 entries this year. We only picked 10 to show the huge diversity. Please check out the others as well. And don't forget to vote while you do so. Lux at Tena is done by Bernard Bittler, who also did the video shown before. Kraftwerk's image alludes to the unsuccessful search for the Holy Grail. He just loves overlong titles. The Solution and the Cow playing hide and seek with Kepler featuring me as a strange attractor. User Va entered the homage to Hieronymus Bosch. He combined a tiny image detail of a Bosch painting with a hybrid fractal. Primal Land is another work by Bernard Bittler, a carefully selected collage of layered fractals. It Happened by Art Andreas 
chose the final breakthrough to the fractal world. Facing Hydra is another image by Taurus of his beloved object, a love that does not get old. Here he tried out the new available rendering techniques. The ends of inventory clearly has the handwriting of Mark J.B. with his wonderful futuristic atmosphere. User Fitz kept his tree structure called Emergence in black and white. He hopes for an artistic note and $500,000 prize money. In Simia Mentis, Xenodimensional reflects on the egocentricity of the human race. It's a beautiful example of this year's contest's diversity. Same is true for the next drawing. By user Vince, titled Come With Me. Awesome entries this year. Check out the link below for more exciting impressions. The third section in this year was very challenging. The task was to display an acholotl. This strong restriction first produced rejection, but then we got to see 39 very interesting results. Kali set a new limit for fractal imagery. Let me remind you, this is calculated and not drawn. He uses fragmentarium to assemble two fractals forming the body of an axolotl. He uses other elements for the legs and feet, nose and eyes. The background is formed by a classic mandelbulb. User Stereoman has published a triptychon, telling the story of the creation process of a fractal axolotl. It starts with a raw design in the first image. He places it in a fractal scene in the second image and distributes the axolotls chaotically in the final image. All the while, a little axolotl being comments on it. In the ancient submerged tower, image by a sitting duck, an axolotl is drawn using a Wacom tablet. Fagor, the programmer of the J Wildfire flame rendering software, tests out his image import function and imports a stylized axolotl. It's titled the axolotl dragon. The fractolotl and octofractalpus meet in the garden by user Lambari. The naively drawn fractolotl stands in a humorous contrast to the complex octofractalpus. Sergio City entered the synchronized swimming festival. It probably takes place in the lake of Cochimilco. User Kraftwerk created this picture called Abstract Axolotl. Maybe these are just the remains of an axolotl. This looks like the animal corresponding to the skeleton seen before. On both images, user Kraftwerk played with the parameters. Crazy submissions this year. Check them out and vote. The reason why we chose the axolotl section this year is the following. Fractalforums.com cooperates with the Center of Transition Sciences of the Universidad Autónoma de Cochimilco, Mexico City. They are the sponsors for this year's contest. The Center for Transition Sciences are interested in a fractal mascot. After they received the first impression from Kraftwerk's art, they interpreted Kraftwerk's fish as an ajolotl and turned it into a real 3D object. The administrator just returned from the Forest Vanguard Science Congress in Mexico City. This unique sculpture symbolizes the idea behind the Congress, the main goal to merge social science and natural science. The administrator was invited to talk about science and art, both unified in this object. The object itself is a merger of different fractals. A nice analogy to the Congress main idea. The administrator held a seminar after the Congress 
and the audience consisting of Monica was very pleased. And now you know why I have to wear this white, green and red color setup because of the administrator trip to Mexico. Which brings us to the short news. The Motherboard Safari started over a year ago by user Poudlebroad is about to end. The last few images are uploaded in the next few days. Orbitrap.ca, the Canadian fractal art review site, has written a whole review of this year's contest. And the latest generation of solar cells uses a chaotic surface for keeping light longer inside the cells for higher efficiency. And Lyapunov exponents were successfully tested to optimize chaotic signals for long-range area independent signal submission. This will improve quality of radio data submission. Which brings us to the end of the show. Oh, breaking news again. Let me check it out what it is about today. And <laughs> is it about the Holy Grail? Yes, it is about the Holy Grail. And we have to tell you that the 3D printout of the Holy Grail by Kraftwerk, as shown in the previous issue, turns out to not be the Holy Fractal Grail. And that's it for today. You see me next time. <laughs>